and we're now joined by Philip Clement, the Rangers manager. Philip, congratulations on the win. Uh, job done this evening. What was your interpretation of the game? Like you said, uh, job done, but in a good way. So uh, we started the game really well. In the first three minutes, we had already two, two good chances. And then you need a little bit of luck to, to score more goals. Uh, we hit the post. Second half, also a few saves on the line. And so it could have been four, five, six today, uh, what you prefer. But in the, at the end, it's uh, most important uh, to score the goals and never been in trouble. So I was never nervous that uh, something could happen. Mm -hmm. I think we had one shot against at target today. So uh, a really uh, good job from the boys. You were able to give minutes to, to a number of players with the changes you made. Were you impressed with, with your two full debutants, Diamande and Cortez? Uh, not impressed because I know why why we bring them. Uh, it's just a start for them. Uh, for uh, Oscar, it was easier because it's his normal position that he always played. Dio is used to playing a little bit lower, but mm. with the situation of Tom and Todd, it was the best way to, to keep a good balance in midfield. And Dio did also a good job, but he played his last game end of November, mm -hmm. so he's missing uh, rhythm. And Oscar played a few weeks ago, it's also a difference. Is it difficult sometimes when you make as many changes as what you did to keep the fluency and the rhythm within your team? Did you have the feeling that it, well, it changed things? Just after half-time in particular, it went a little bit flat, so then you then make the substitutions to inject the energy back into the team? So it was more with putting new players fresh in that we could get a new energy in, and that's a positive thing. Uh, that everybody's in the story, everybody knows what to do in each position. Even when they play in another position, they, they know what to do. And, and the machine goes. Whoever is playing, uh, uh, whoever has to do the job, they do the job. And, uh, and that's what we need the next couple of months because we are ambitious in, in still three competitions. So we will need all the squads for that. That's the most satisfying thing for me today. Uh, all the guys who had less minutes, they could take more minutes. They could uh, gain rhythm and uh, physical condition and, and creating connections with the other players also. So uh, like this, this will help us to grow in the next couple of months. But I suppose that's what you need, obviously, moving forward, that competition for places. You see Oscar Cortez coming in and playing with a real freedom. So when you're competing on all fronts, this is the kind of headache you want moving forward. Yes, I, I want a lot of headaches. <laughs> I, I, told, I told the team I love have, have, have headaches like that and not because uh, people are not performing. So no, it's going to be crucial. Also until now, uh, okay, with the new guys, not yet, but all the others, they have been important mm. the last three months. They all had their moments where they could shine. And it's about uh, putting your ego aside and doing everything for the team. And if they do everything for the team, I, I will give them enough minutes to shine. This is probably the strongest pool of players you've had fully fit, fully available since you came to the club? With the Rangers, yeah, but that's not, not difficult. Eh? No, but <laughs> because, the fact you've had some long-term injuries. Because I, I missed half the team Yeah, uh, a long time. So uh, we're not there yet. We're still building on that. You see, uh, Tom Lawrence was not uh, in the selection today because of that, because we're still building with him. Same with Ryan Jack. We need to watch out with the minutes. Uh, Boris is coming out of, out of injury. Um, Danilo is, is still out. Mm. Uh, ben Davis was on the bench. Mm. Couldn't give me minutes because we can only do five changes. So uh, Kemaruf is also still out. So we still have a few uh, we need to bring back. So that's the ambition for next year. You'll have a few headaches if they all get fit, that's for sure. You said you like headaches, you may have a few more to come. <laughs> no, but uh, it's good that I have headache if it's better for the club. Of course. You have to say, um, Fabio Silva, he joined us a moment ago. He, he said he's thoroughly enjoying his football here. He obviously got another goal today. And you know, so where, where do you see his favourite position? Because he said to us he's just happy to be in the team. He doesn't mind playing up front or, or coming off short. That's a good answer. So, <laughs> so, he's, so he listened well. Um, his, his best position is, is for the moment is to be striker mm -hmm. because Danilo is out until end of the season or the last few weeks. Kemar is also still out. So we have for the moment two, two strikers in the squad. So that's his best position now. And we will see in the future he can play in different positions, that's true. But we need to look at the balance of the team, the balance of the squad. And he has the, uh, the capability to play the number nine role in the way we wanted to play. Maybe other managers like a different kind of player, but I like 
to have a lot of movement and a lot of changing of positions. And Fabio is doing that better and better. He still has to grow in that to get the connection with the others, but it's normally it's just uh, a little bit more than, than four weeks into the building. Mm -hmm. Normally you have a preparation of six weeks and, and sometimes they say, yeah, you, you need six or nine months to, to build a team. So he's just in the building, but he's showing already a lot of good things. And you remain in the competition in the Scottish Cup, which I know you spoke about before the game that, that you hadn't realized ju just the passion for football here in Scotland. Everybody oh, loves but it's it. amazing. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So in Monaco, we didn't have support, mm -hmm. so we had maximum two, three thousand supporters. Only for the top games was different, but there was not really support. It was more people coming to watch the stars. In Bruges or in Genk was a lot of support. Uh, in Bruges, 30,000, always full. But cup games, nobody ever came. Mm -hmm. So I have, we had then two, three thousand people coming to watch the game. Now today, more than 40,000 and that enthusiastic. So that's the pity of the evening. I wish uh, we could have given more goals to mm -hmm. the fans to give that extra, but the team pushed for that and, and we need to have respect also for the opponent that they, they, they gave their life to, to stop us to score goals. Well, thank you very much for joining us and, and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thanks, Philippe.